Welcome to the Daily Wrap here on AustralianOpen.com for Day 7. Another beautiful day here at Melbourne Park. Adrian Franklin joining me as my guest president. Nice to see you, Adrian. Thank you for having me, Brett. And it all started outside at Melbourne Park today, of course, the flood relief uh, press conference. Ted Bailey, the Premier, on board along with Alicia Mollick. Outstanding the amount of money that has been raised at this stage. $2.3 million, which is terrific. And that will grow over the course of the next week. Centre court action on uh, Rod Laver Arena. We had some terrific matches today. Caroline was Niaki. She got through comfortably through to her first quarter final here at Melbourne Park. Roger Federer had a set taken off him but uh, got through okay. Lee Na, she's uh, a big chance to win this title, was terrific, Adrian. 6 3 6 3 against Victoria Azarenka. Absolutely. Well, she is, has come in with great form at the Sydney tournament, obviously winning that uh, against Kim Clijsters. Tough match today against the Azarenka with those uh, profound shrieks, might I say. That obviously didn't assist her today, but <laughs> Lee Na, she's one of my favourite tips actually at the she moment. She was beautiful off both wings uh, today. Uh, Thomas Burdick, he's going nicely. Fernando Vadesco, not at his fittest out on Margaret Court Arena, but Burdick gets through to his first quarter final, having been a perennial fourth round uh, man here at uh, Melbourne Park. Novak Djokovic through against Nicolas El Magro. And late in the day to end the fourth round matches, what a result for Francesca Schiavone, the French Open winner of last year, getting through in a nail biter against Svetlana Kuznetsova, giving the crowd great entertainment out on High Sense Arena. Well, let's take a look at the open drive for today. It features Justine Enner and Danny Manu. I think you've answered this one. Who's the Who best is the looking best looking tennis player? player? I think out of the guys, Roger. Roger Federer. Yeah. Who has been your greatest opponent? Um, I think Serena. Serena is um, just champion by her mentality, the way she's fighting uh, mentally. I um, never saw someone that strong. Adrian, beautifully driven again there was Justine Enner and Danny Minogue in very safe hands. You've done some uh, beautiful driving this week, let me tell you, around the streets of Melbourne. Day 8 on Rod Laver Arena. It's going to feature, of course, Robin Seidling and Alexander Dolgopolov. That'll be a good match, uh, followed by Jürgen Meltzer and Andy Murray. How about this one between uh, Rafael Nadal and Marin Cilic? Uh, he made the semi-finals here last year. That's a good match. Yeah, absolutely. And it will be interesting to see how Nadal goes. Obviously a tough one against Bernard Tomic. He may have been you know, a little unsure, a little embarrassed, potentially about his performance out there. I reckon he's going to want to put a stamp on this match and I reckon straight sets. Yeah, going to be a great game tomorrow night. I reckon Chilich will really press him. And then, of course, Kim Kleist is taking on Ekaterina Makarova. You would think Kleist would uh, get through there. Thank you, Adrian. My pleasure. Nice to see you. Looking forward to more of your driving in the second week. That is it for us. Uh, stay tuned to AustralianOpen.com for all the latest news regarding the Australian Open.